My name is Tom. I'm from the state of Indiana. I'm registered to vote in Indiana, but I live overseas. I live in China, and I work as a university professor. Uh, I would like to talk a little bit about what Trump has done for the image and the interests of the United States abroad. I've seen the world, and uh, sometimes the world does not like us. Uh, the Trump administration has made it very difficult to remain uh, in any way, an idealist about what the United States is and what we mean abroad. And uh, this has had disastrous effects for our interests. Um, trust means a lot. Our reputation means a lot. And our reputation is destroyed. And when that faith goes, it is very difficult to get it back. And this is something that is going to affect us uh, because if the world is not based on an American architecture, it will be based on someone else's architecture. And that will not be something that serves our interests. Uh, fundamentally, it all comes down to Trump. It all comes down to that one man who is a liar. He's, he's, he's telling people that apple in front of you, you have to say it's a banana and you have to believe it's a banana. That is not a, a strategic lie. Um, there's no point to it except to humiliate the other person that has to believe it. He's a ridiculous liar. Ridiculous is a word that I think we need to bring up here because we are laughed at. We are pitied. We're not feared. We're certainly not respected. And nobody's calling us the greatest country in the world or the leader of the free world. Uh, that ship has sailed a long time ago. We used to be trusted. We used to be respected, even by our adversaries. I won't call them enemies, um, but countries that we did business with that did not necessarily like us, but wanted us to be strong because that was good for everyone. It was good for the world if we had a strong, stable United States in the center. Nobody wants this anymore because we're no longer respected, we're no longer strong, and we're no longer reviewed as we're, we're no longer viewed as stable. It really does affect everyone that the United States is no longer liked or respected, and we are not. Boy, we are not. And how are we going to fix this? Uh, I think because the strength of American reputation is is a government that responds to its people the only way that we will get back any modicum any shred of the reputation that we once enjoyed is if the voice of the people you and me reject trump and everyone around him we have to not only vote these people out we have to do some serious soul searching about how they got in in the first place and what kind of damage they were able to do in the years that they were there. This has to be done publicly. It has to be done by the American people, in the press, in public fora, and it has to begin with a vote to get Trump out of office in 2020. That whole map has to be blue if we are ever going to hold our heads up in an international arena again.